Good afternoon, everybody. We have our feature presenter today, and our feature presenter is? Marion McCool. The name of your business is? Legal Shield and ID Shield. The number of years you've been in business is? Nine years. The location of your business is? I'm in Crossfield, Alberta. Any other organizations you belong to are? Chamber of Commerce, numerous dog clubs, and of course, V Team. Uh, where do you serve? What areas of the world do you serve? Canada and the United States. Your family includes, including the furry ones. One 15 month old golden retriever, and my family, my kids live fairly close by. And your activities and hobbies are? Um, mostly dog training reading um that's about it something you would love to do i saw a video the other day and i would love to see the galapagos islands Ooh. the root of your success is persistence just stick and stay so for our visitors this is the opportunity for each VT member to present for 10 minutes. We recommend they present for about eight minutes. So therefore we leave two minutes for questions and answer. Marion, please take it away. Well, thank you and welcome to our visitors. The end of January, I received an email and the email read, good news, nothing to report. During the last 30 days, we have found no fraudulent activity associated with your monitored personally identifiable information. Now you ask, why is she telling me that? <clears throat> so my want to, I really just want to talk today about who you are and your identity. And your identity is priceless. This is who we are. Other than our fingerprints, this is what makes us unique. To criminals, every piece of our information is valuable. Our credit check, on or our credit on the um, that we have that we like to value and keep it high. Um, the information, including our name, our email address, and social insurance number, is worth about sixty dollars on the dark web. Our passport numbers and our medical information, well, they're worth a lot more—a thousand dollars or even more each. So, of uh, a couple of years ago, the neighbor of one of my friends was telling her a story that she had attempted to cross the border from Canada to the US and she'd presented her passport as identification. Well, a few minutes later, her car was surrounded by five armed guards and their guns were drawn. Oh my God, she was horrified. I would have been just petrified. And through a bunch of conversations and her being in holding for a little bit, they discovered that her passport had been stolen and somebody else was using her number to commit fraudulent activities. Now this poor lady is afraid to cross the border. In Canada alone, the CRA was hacked. As we all know, 800,000 people, or so they tell us. Well, I was one of them. And let me tell you the nightmare it was to try and get that fixed. Newfoundland and Labrador had their health network hacked and they took 10 years of employee and patient information. Switzerland just advised that the International Red Cross has been hacked and that was in January. So far, the last count was 515 thousand people. In the US, there's a lot more. We know there's a lot more. Nine government facilities, the FBI, their email ad the system was hacked. Good grief. And what about the hotels? And we all know about Equifax because it affected us as well. I'm here today to provide you with five ways that you can protect your information. The first thing is be wary of shopping online. Be wary of who you're purchasing from and sharing your personal information with. 
keep your passwords strong and secure. I've had an IT guy tell me that the best words are common words like elephant or hippopotamus. Yeah, try to spell hippopotamus in a hurry. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. Avoid public Wi-Fi. It's just not secure. And we do get warnings that they're not secure. Destroy or shred any documents that you don't need anymore that have your personal information. And lastly, just be cautious of unexpected emails or texts because you need to not only check the sender, but also the actual email address it came from. <clears throat> I ran into that with Apple. Um, I got a receipt from Apple saying, thank you for your purchase. Uh, and I went, that's not mine. The little thing at the bottom said, this isn't yours. Please let us know right away, click here. So I did. Yeah, well, after a little bit, I realized they were asking too much information and I sort of stopped and went, yeah, I'm gonna go back and check that email. Sure enough, it came from the wrong party. It wasn't Apple. So now let's talk about your children. So we've all heard the stories, many, many stories about children having their identity hacked. In the United States, over a million children every year have their identity stolen. <clears throat> and the majority of them are under the age of seven. And let's look at the BC Teachers Association a couple of years ago. They told us about that. Names, addresses, and Lord knows what else. Recently, the largest school district in Canada, um, Peel District School Board, was also hacked. Identity theft is a growing crime, and it takes many years for it to be discovered. Usually when a child is of age and they're applying for a credit card or uh, a loan for it to go to university, our children's credit is a clean slate. And let's face it, it can be used for all sorts of things and it won't be discovered for 10, 18 years. People can apply for government grants or just apply for other government things that we are given. They can open bank accounts, credit cards, go to the uh, payday stores or payday loans, they're called, and even rent a place to live. So protect your children. Their information needs to be secure, including birth certificates. And just as a note, a child's social security or SIN number is more valuable than an adult's. For your children, check their credit rating twice a year and freeze any accounts that show up at a credit bureau and also file a credit alert because that's fraud. And be watchful of anything that comes in the mail, medical documents and other mail that are coming in your child's name, like why? And also when your children get older, educate them how important their information actually is and how they need to keep it safe. So I'm a member of ID Shield. I actually have the plan myself. And I'm thrilled that it keeps my personal information protected as in the email I just read you. So it looks after all my bank accounts, Canadian and US, and all my debit and credit cards, my driver's license, passport number, medical number, which I find is so important, and my email addresses. I have access to a new password manager and through Trend Micro, I can use a VPN proxy to protect my IP address, and my location. Social media accounts, what about our reputation? Because that affects our business. So a short story, um, a friend of mine posted a few years ago this um, rather terse, abrupt message on Facebook. And two days later, she received an email that said, um, mm, you know that message you put out there? We would suggest you change the verbiage. We had a good laugh about that. So would, if you know of anybody who is interested and really feels that they need to have their family and themselves protected, or yourselves for that matter, uh, give me um, an email and I'll be happy to send you information. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was amazing. I'm gonna put it back on gallery view. We do have time for two questions. If you'd like to uh, come off a microphone or off a mute and ask Marion any questions, it was quite the good shooter chatter. 
going on in the chat box about your presentation, which is fantastic. Uh, questions for Marion? Ms. Lucia, please go ahead. Thank you, Marion. That was epic. It's a topic close to my heart. Um, more, not so much a question as, as, a, as a word of warning to everyone, especially the people that have businesses. They socially engineer you and then they hack you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. And I see Tracy, we have time for your question and then we'll move on. Please go ahead. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, my insurance company added a rider for um, identity theft. It didn't seem like much money. Have you had any experience with uh, insurance claims and in, related to identity theft? Go ahead, Marion. You're on mute. I apologize. I have my phone ringing. At any rate, um, the uh, identity company that looks after us, which is ID Shield, they would have the information. And uh, I would suggest, yes, that they can pretty well look after anything, but it has to be um, current. And you know, with ID Shield, the one thing is they'll help you fix anything, but if you don't have the plan ahead of time, then um, you will have to uh, pay a, a fee, and it's usually about $1,000 US. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. Thank I you. encourage you all to uh, reach out to Marion um, in depth. There's a couple of seats that are in a V Team chapter that really get to that trust, the no like and trust. And that's for VEAT with your finances, that's Marion with your legal, and of course with Lisa when she wants to put out some good stuff for you. There's a great confidentiality. So um, thank you so much. Stop recording.